Hello and welcome to our pre-show of round seven of the World Rally Championship as we head to the island of Sardinia. But before we talk about that, Luis Moya, um, let's discuss round six of the championship in Portugal. And boy, was there some action that weekend. Uh, let's start with day one, a disaster really for Toyota, Oit Tanak and Yari Mati Latvala. And it has absolutely, we said already before, you know, that Tanak was really unlucky. He found not one but two stones on the line, couldn't avoid them, the speed was too high, and that was a retirement for him. Jerry Mati Lavala, different story. Hole, the suspension was full extension, a rock behind it, and then broke the suspension, but that's his fault, and he admitted like that. No points, critically, no points for Oit Tanak in Portugal, and no points either for Sebastian Auger, who went off on the first full day uh, in Portugal. A bit of a disaster for him, really, as well. A surprise, because he was five times winner of this rally, so it's a rally he likes, and he was very honest when he explained to us, and he showed us in his phone, this is what I touched, Luis. It was a twist time, I had don't cut on the corner, but I still saw it. Michael driver told me don't cut. I thought it was not going to be so bad, but he broke, and then in the next corner he was off the road. Critically, though, Thierry Neuville took full advantage of the situation. He went on to win the rally in Portugal and take four power stage points for second fastest through the final stage. Fafé, what a job he did. 29 points he took away from Portugal. He, he just really took advantage of the situation that was presented to him. He did, and he was, to me, honestly, a big surprise what he did in the power stage. I didn't expect him, you know, leading the rally, getting already 25 points. I thought he was not going to push that much. He did. He all these points, and now he has 19 points advantage on Sebastian Roger. We have to see what Sebastian does in the future. He's never been in a situation like that before. No, it's been a while since we've seen Sebastian Auger struggling like that in the championship very quickly. We also have to talk about Citroen. Craig Breen struggled throughout the weekend, really in Portugal. Couldn't find the right setup. He also struggled with a puncture. Mads Osberg, who we've only seen once this year in Sweden, turned up and he finished fifth. A great result for him, but again, calamity for Chris Meek. A massive accident and a frightening one as well, Lewis. Really, I mean, I, I always like to find, try to find a positive side to it. And I, how strong these cars are, Mike? Because when you see a picture of that car, you think there were two guys inside and nothing happened to them. It's, to them, it's difficult, difficult to believe, no? But his speed, the speed was not there. It was a big mistake for him and he's not the first one. So I don't know, they have to speak about it. Yeah, Chris has to go away and think about how he's going to approach the rest of the year. And as Lewis said, the FIA doing a great job with the safety cell of these world rally cars. Let's take a look now at the drivers and manufacturer standings coming in to the island of Sardinia. In the Drivers' Championship, Thierry Neuville hits the top spot, 19 points clear of Sebastian Auger. Oit Tanak remains in third place ahead of Danny Sordo. Essa Pekalapi in fifth, just one point behind the Spaniard. Andreas Mikkelsen lies sixth with 54 points. Elvin Evans seventh. Chris Meek down in eighth with 43 points. He'll be disappointed. Look at that. Yari Mati Latvla down in ninth place ahead of Craig Breen, who rounds out the top ten. And in the battle for the Manufacturers' Championship, Hyundai head into round seven with 175 points, 13 more than the M Sport boys who lie second. Toyota come third, 22 points further back, and Citroën with just 111 points are down in fourth. Well, let's look ahead now to round seven of the championship in Sardinia. It's an incredibly tricky rally, gravel rally, of course. We can see bedrock, but predominantly it's a sandy surface, so we're going to see lots of road cleaning. It's in very, very narrow stages, so zero margin for error. And inside the car, it can get up to 50 degrees, so incredibly physically demanding as well, Lewis. Very demanding for both drivers and, and cars, you know. I think it's the toughest. Not, not think, I'm sure, and certain, is the toughest event in the championship. The cars proved to be really strong here, so I believe it will be strong there. We probably don't see as many accidents as here, but it will be a very, very tough event, definitely, for certainly. And pace notes, absolutely critical. That's something you know a thing or two about. Yeah, really, because it's a quite a blind event. You don't see the corners. You have to be very precise, very accurate. That's the reason why the drivers and co-drivers, they use a lot of video now. And when they get back to, to the hotel after the recce, they always like to watch the stages once again and again and again, and even sometimes during the road sections in the rally as well. Remember, Thierry Neuville will open the road there, and as I just pointed out, road cleaning effect will be massive in Sardinia, and I think he's going to be punished heavily for that. I wouldn't put my money on Thierry Neuville in Sardinia, honestly. Uh, I don't think he's going to win in Sardinia. Who can do it? I don't know. There are drivers that are far back, you know, like Jarimati Latvala, drivers like that. But you never know. Tanak will be quick there. Tanak won there last year. It's his first victory. He will be motivated. 
A oh, lot of questions marks for this event. Oit Tanak will be running third on the road, Sebastian Auger second. So I think Neville, Auger and Tanak will be affected by row cleaning position. But if there's anything we've learned from Portugal, as you just pointed out, Lewis, anybody could win it. And that's the beauty of the World Rally Championship at the moment. Yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't guess. You know, if you think probably if I have to make a list, I will make a list of at least six drivers that he can win in Sardinia. And maybe I'm, I'm wrong. And it's a seventh drive that appears from somewhere else. You know? All the cars are strong now. All the cars are fast. Very similar one to each other. So it's very difficult to predict. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be incredibly difficult to predict a winner as we head to Sardinia. Now, if there's one thing the Italians and the people who live on the island of Sardinia love, it's rallying, as Mark Webber found out last year when he joined Mickey Biazio. We have beautiful scenery here in Sardinia, but we've also got beautiful rally cars. Mickey, tell us about this baby, the Lancer Delta. I mean, this is iconic. This is on my bedroom wall, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, one of the best cars I drove in my life. He's like a baby for me because uh, I was a tester, so I, I used to develop this, this car from the start in, 90, no, in 87, 86, 87, till 92, and it is one of the best rally cars ever. Very, very performing and if you want you can have a ride we should know. do because you're the double world champion right yeah. 80, okay. 89 and I, and I trust you i'm not a good passenger but yeah. this man can take me let's have a look it's around. larger than a formula one of course <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> okay great What the hell have we got here? Uh, this, this is unbelievable. Is a real I remember this. And around 700,000 euros now for this car. Maybe yeah, the price. yeah, yeah. Good the, pedigree. The, a proper one. Uh, it's very, very expensive. But this was your childhood car, right? When I started to drive it, it was a dream for me. Yeah. Too expensive yeah, for yeah, a yeah, young yeah. driver in the past. Great images from Mark Webber and Mickey Biazio. And I was quite jealous that Lancia Delta Integrale is a very special piece of kit. Now, it's a 30% of the route is newer this year, but it still includes Mickey's jump in the famous Montilerno stage. Lewis, you know a thing or two about that? It's a great stage, isn't it? It's fantastic. Difficult, demanding, long. Uh, it will clean a lot, therefore yeah. that's why we said that Neville has it really, really difficult, not to say impossible to win this rally. So there's a lot of things to spectate, you know, to wait for in Serenia, Serenia Rally. Yeah, Sardinia is going to be an absolute belter. I will be joined by Matthew Wilson there. Make sure you join us. It's going to be a cracker. We'll see you there. Bye-bye. Well, let's look ahead now to round seven of the championship in Sardinia. It's an incredibly tricky rally, gravel rally, of course. We can see bedrock, but predominantly it's a sandy surface, so we're going to see lots of road cleaning. It's in very, very narrow stages, so zero margin for error. And inside the car, it can get up to 50 degrees, so incredibly physically demanding as well, Lewis.